by the merits of its own truth and not by coercion. So could you comment on uh, th yeah, these no, teachings? Absolutely. And, and look. Abs absolutely. And, and, you know, nobody's, nobody's suggesting that, um, you know, we're going to be instituting a Gestapo or, uh, you know, or anything like that because that's an Enlightenment atheistic kind of thing. What... It's, actually, it's entirely, as you will know, necessary for our salvation that we have the freedom to choose the wrong thing as much as we have the freedom to choose the right thing. But that doesn't mean that in Christian countries there aren't incentives in the tax system, laws against certain things. Um, you know, I, I, though we ha must for our salvation have the freedom to choose the right over the wrong, that doesn't mean that in a Christian country that murder should be legal. It doesn't mean that abortion should be legal. Um, we must have laws and rules in order to have a functioning society that exist as much to circumscribe the uh, proper behavior of those citizens as it does to, uh, say, ideally safeguard their souls. So, no, I completely agree with you that, you know, people must have as much freedom as is practically possible, but the Catholic Church is a very prescriptive religion that requires a lot from people, and the rules that it lays down for followers aren't optional. And in those countries that have had Catholic, uh, explicitly Catholic governments and monarchs in the past, that attitude has pr tended to proliferate out into lawmaking. 